Hey there, welcome back to the, I think it is the 16th episode of Otrox Empire, we're playing with the Agdarians. And let's immediately unpause it. As we can see, financially, I didn't know we are doing this well, but we were really doing well. We got a lot of cash on hand and a steady stream of cash flow. So I think the other time I reallocated some... Yeah, so we can lower our reserved amount a bit so hopefully we can get those into the white although it doesn't look like it all right at least get the research in the white so this means that we are spending all the amount of research that we can possibly spend it on Wait, what would suddenly happen? Okay. And the Boscara want us to um, make peace, which we will not do because right now we only have, I think they only have one colony left, which is the capital. And we are, um, we want to take it over. I'm still not sure yet whether we want to um, enslave the colony or not. And I'm also yet not sure what to do with the human colony that we took over. That was initially an independent colony. I was very happy to take it back, but after looking into it, we see that the that it's not it's not suitable for um, humans. I mean, plus nine. It's not too strong and it's costing us a whole lot of money uh, which is uh, partly due to it uh, the su suitability being less than 20 but also because um, the the humans they are an unassimilated population uh, right about now so let's start with relocating the Agdarians because they really don't belong here Oh, which we're already doing, all right. So only, let's only have humans here. And then see what we want to do with this, uh, this planet. I might just abandon it. One thing that we can research, I believe, is make it more suitable. So... Minus five colonization quality threshold. Okay, so that doesn't make it more suitable per se. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I might I might let go of this planet. I mean once we got the the planet here, there's also no strategic advantage. Another thing that I want to do is now finally take over the uh, Agdarian colony. They've been asking us uh, a lot. Um, I've been complaining it's too far out. But first of all, we got now faster uh, hyperdrives. Secondly, this is a nice hub planet, if you will, towards the center of the galaxy. Um, so also in terms of strategic importance, uh, this might uh, work well. And also it is uh, has a huge suitability. And it's also a very big planet. Diameter of uh, 6000. So a lot of reasons to, to do this. Wasn't that also one of the victory conditions that we have? Control the one largest ocean colony in the galaxy. So I don't know if this is it. Um... I don't know if that in terms of like diameter or in terms of population, but in any case, um, yeah, let's colonize this. So I'll start with that. Let me also unpause. Um, let's queue up more troops. Oh, we got still a bunch of troops queued up. Let's build a colonization ship. That's it. There we go. One other thing that I saw in another video, like every time we're building military ships, we manually set it on uh, manual. 
but I saw somewhere that you can actually set this already in the uh, in the other in the policy settings. Um, probably construction then. Oh yeah, new military ships are automated or manually controlled. So let's put it on manually controlled. That should help us already. Now, what are all these? Oh, the, the fourth fleet is finally home. They are repaired, okay. Let's retrofit them. What about the third fleet? They are still repairing themselves. Alright. I think they are still making their way back as well. Yeah, they are. It seems like the fourth fleet, they all made it home. Yeah. Let's not splash our money away, please. Now I'm getting um, troops ready. I don't want to take all the troops away here because... What's this? This is a small freighter. Because we might need them to keep order here. As... You know, this is a... This is not really a friendly uh, colony yet. So let's fill up three of the five. And also get a, a general on there. Where is the general? There we go. So fleet six, please. Uh, this one we we can definitely dismiss now we should have some troop transport ships here as well waiting around if I'm not wrong go oh, let's load up troops and this one can also join the sixth fleet now let's see for the sixth fleet they got 1500 strength and we know that they already at least have more than 2000 and that's only what we can what we can see where is that yeah 2500 so we definitely need more more troops thing is it costs a lot of time to uh, to make them as well Oh, these are strong and quite cheap actually. Right Trooper Brigade. Let's make a few of those. And also in water landing, let's make sure that we are recruiting. What is this? We have encountered a new empire in the Suban system. The Grand Sioux Colonies, right? So that is the third human... Is 
This is the third human uh, uh, race or, or, or federation, faction, if you will, we have discovered. But we don't know where they are based as well. Hmm. Interesting. So we just encountered their ship somewhere. Fine. So I think we have another troop. Okay, okay. this one can load up colonists. And I think somewhere we have another troop transport ship. Not in eight. Here. So he can load up troops here in water landing. Oh, I didn't know they were still in war. But good that they made peace. Decline, decline, yes, more mining stations. We're increasing our population very rapidly, already at 15 billion. And in terms of population, we now have 7% of the galaxy. Hmm. I mean, we're, we're doing quite all right. We're just behind, oh, also the Grand Sioux colony, they are big. The humans are doing well, there's many of them. And they tend to, you know, races tend to befriend uh, each other. So that might prove quite a challenge to, uh, to overtake them. But we'll see. What's this? The private gangsters are attacking us. Well, we should have a fleet four if I'm not wrong. Without a mission. Fleet one, yeah. But fleet four is without a mission, they're all okay. So let's perhaps send them out. Who was that who was attacking us? Dreyfus Gangsters. They are. Now, do we know where they are? Mm. I'm afraid we don't. Right, that's their luck then. Is there any other faction that currently we are paying off? So we can take them out. The Xenox clan, who are up here at Alta Sodom. No? Oh, here they are. Yeah, they've been bothering us quite a fair bit as well. How strong? 628. So let's send our fourth fleet. To here. All right. Then our Our colony ship should be ready. We can go ahead and colonize Valerian. I 
Then how about the other colony ship who's been making his way back for the last, uh, I don't know, <laughs> four or five episodes? Going tremendously slow. Alright. Let's get... Okay, this one is also filled up, so he can join Fleet 6 as well. And assuming he is moving there, yeah, very good. Um, let's just load them up all. Okay, 2300. We need more. Did they already all. Oh, he's still recruiting. Building two new transport ships there. Yeah, I know you want peace, but you're not getting it. Not sure about this new map. Look at the money, by the way. We're going through the roof. What's going on here? How is that? How is that possible? Getting so much cash flow in the private economy. We're booming quite a lot. And of course I can build more warships, but I just feel at this moment we don't really need that. Um, what we can build is a defense structure now, I believe. Right. Armor barracks, group cloning facility, and this one, the planetary defense center. So it costs 20k to build. And this should help a lot with the, um, uh, with the defense, I believe. Or we can, yeah, we can train uh, troops here. Uh, defense troops. So yeah, let's just can we build that. Yeah, let's build that. You know what? Let's let's build it all. Let's build it all. Yeah, I feel we're getting in a very good position right now. Not sure how that suddenly you know. These tables have turned somehow, but... Let's build another... Tra troop transport ship here as well. And I think we're getting ready... Oh, we can build defensive bases as well. So this one at a capital, yes, I want that. And build there. I wish you can choose where to build, but alright. Um, no, not that pyro. I'm not gonna give gifts at this moment. No new sh groups. Yeah, I would like to know where those gangsters live. Oh, right. 
that's not good. Where did it go? It immediately went to the to the sixth fleet, the, the troop transport ship. But I still wanted to fill it up first. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, there, there he go. Right. First load up, please. Heading back. And this is the third fleet still limping home. I want to see if this one, after it loaded up, will then immediately join his uh, friends at the sixth fleet. Yes, he will. It is cool. Hey, we colonized the uh, Beladian. Okay. Cool. It's good. Uh, let's build a space station there. Does that also give us now the credit for the biggest ocean planet? No. The largest ocean colony. I always struggle with that one. I'm not sure how to get that. Not sure what is the biggest planet, also. But anyway, we got another 1.6 billion Agdarians with a perfect planet, so this is really good. Let's build a uh, spaceport. And probably after Fleet 3 is finally uh, done with being repaired, I will uh, station them here at Balerion. Oh, I'm not ending the war. Stop asking. They are all in garrison. Alright, we got a troop strength of 3000 right now. I'm just gonna, gonna give it a go. See what happens. At least we should be able to weaken them. I mean, we can bombard the planet as well, but... Um, that will decrease the military, but will also decrease the population. Plus, it will decrease our uh, reputation. We have a very strong reputation at this point. The war awareness is, is large though. I am not too sure what that does, to be honest. Makes our planets less happy, I think. Is that the case? Like, what, do we see this in the happiness? Hmm, yeah, a bit. We tire for Empire Wars, okay. Yeah, well, sorry about that. These are great defense forces. Just get them. I'm hoping we're not overspending uh, a lot at this moment. Um... Troop maintenance, or facility maintenance, we need to pump up. Uh, 
Let's see how this goes. Let's decrease the speed for a bit. And oh got a new empire. Alright. The Hakonish. Naturally very hostile towards us. Do we know where they're at? We colonized this planet pretty fast by the way. Just saying. Like the trip took less time than I thought. And what I... Okay, I'm doing all type of stuff now at the same time. I'm gonna make some new exploration ships. And some new construction ships. Alright, I wanted to see if we know where the new Dakonish are. But yeah, no idea. Oh wait, here, here they are. How did we find them all the way here? Who... <laughs> Who went here? No idea. Okay. That's fine. Um, Alright, back to business. We're gonna invade the planet and just hope for the best. It is time. So they got three and a half thousand and not two and a half thousand. I hate it how we trinkle in also, that's not good. So we got a 25% bonus because we got space control. Hmm. Seems like we're getting uh, beat back. Oh, not necessarily. Oh, we might win this. We might win this. This is very, very close. their population fighting as well which the population goes down as well that's not good Ship doesn't have a good day. Oh, 
very close call this is going to be. It seems like we have the upper hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems like we're winning this. Offering us a treaty. speed it up a bit because it seems like where we're making it yeah who are those those are strong troops yeah let's pause here so we have fully eliminated the Boscada collective that is great. Now, what is this? Independent? Oh, they immediately are going independent. Um, Alright, so let's wait a bit. They're immediately re uh, rebelling. That's not good. Got a few foreign ships joining us, but how are we stopping this rebellion? You know, other than... Set them as the Empire Capital, that makes them a bit more happy. No tax here. I'm afraid if I unpass it, then we immediately, you know, getting... Our asses kicked. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, looks like it. But we d yeah, in the end we didn't have enough troops. That's what it uh, boils down to. The massive expense, by the way. That's because we need to assimilate the, uh, the local population. Who is, by the way, the biggest <laughs> loser of all this? Because they... I think there's about 1 billion people died in this... Uh, Conflict. Yeah, we are about getting kicked out of it again. Not again, but. I think we lost our troops as well then. Oh boy. So we need new troops. That's a bit of uh, anti-climax.
Those were a lot of troops. Lost. Just recruiting a whole bunch of troops everywhere. So while we are recruiting groups, oh, the armor would be great. They they have a lot of attack value. Uh, let's have a look at the um, first of all. Let's retrofit the tree. Fleet 4, let's have a look if they arrived already. Yes, they did. Alright. So at least let's uh, uh, take them out. Back. That's gonna cost us reputation actually. Not too sure. Because we are taking someone out who we're paying to defend us. So let's pause and queue up some more uh, research. Um, pass mining we're already doing, yeah. Let's have a look. Let's get a bit of commercial enter because I think we do a lot of trading. Um, large fuel stores, no. Mm, not really necessary at this moment. Get better energy collection. Countermeasures, I believe we're using a lot of ships. Um, let's improve our frigates. Uh, let's invest in better shields yet again. And we can upgrade our weapon systems as well. Yeah, so this should uh, <laughs> keep the research tree busy for a bit. Um, Corales, defense, base. Not at the moment, please. Alright. Let's take out the pirate base. Curious to see if this impacts our reputation or not. Doesn't seem to so far. Alright, this should be an easy. Uh, easy win. Very easy.
All right. That was quite easy. Who else are we paying off? Plane of superiority. What about the Hakanish Prowlers? No. Menacing paying security or up here. How strong are you? Uh, a bit stronger, but should be doable. Should be doable for them. Well, although, uh, maybe not. Not too sure, actually. Hold on, what's all going on? Great. Mm. Any other pirate factions? What about the... Oh, closer to here right now. What about the clan of superiority? We're also paying them off. How strong are they? Oh, they're strong. Point six. All right. I don't. We we don't need the money that hard because, frankly, economic wise, we're doing very well. Um. So let's just move them back to the uh, to the capital for now. Uh, capital, I said. This Aquaria, right? Yeah. That home base there and protect it. Also, I forgot. Actually, we got a colony here as well. Oceania. We haven't done much with this. Do we even have... I haven't even built a... Uh... Oh man, we've neglected this. So let's build a spaceport. That means it's got a billion people already. Plus 7%. Why have we neglected this uh, planet? Not too sure. Kind of forgot about it, to be honest. Um... Let's build a planetary administration. We can even build some troops here as well. Okay, let's load up some troops. Possible there. But I don't think there's many troops to be loaded right now. Are there? No, most of them are garrison. How's the integration going? 24%. Okay, after they've done, then I'll send them to Aquaria. Actually, they can do that right now. On the way uh, back, pick up troops here at Pyro. Fine. <laughs> no. You want me to sway them? That's not gonna happen. I want a protective base here as well, though. A entire administration center and a 
defense base. Alright. Ah oh, yeah, look, now we're... This is all belongs to our territory right now. Um, no, not for now. Oh, they really want to be friends, huh? Tsunami hit the hit the eater. So sad for them. Alright, let's see whether there's any planets here in this area that are suitable for colonization. Um, so I want suitability for Agdarians. New planet. Um, short on suitability, where is this? What is there? Wait, where? Oh, here in the same system. Hey, we've encountered a new empire. Also the Boscara. Okay, cool. I like that. So this one, yeah. I would like to... Oh, build a mining station there. Why aren't we still? And... Let's colonize this. Because this is a good planet for us. And we we're gonna call uh, we're g <laughs> this is gonna be our planet as well. Probably gonna enslave them, especially if we build something here. So yeah, let's do that. So let's queue up a colony ship. So they are all, are they all retrofitted? No, not yet. Hmm. They're all just chilling out. Wait, what are they doing? Yeah, I want them to blockade this. Let there be no doubt that this is our, our planet. The tree retrofitting. Eight six. How are you doing now with the um, picking up groups? All still being produced. Yeah, that's slow. Water landing should have troops. Quite a bunch, actually. And what about... Etty tree? Let's just call it Etty, shall we? They also got some troops. But man, does the recruiting go slow. Alright. Are there any more planets that are suitable for colonization? Where is this? That's theirs. Not the, we're not interested in that. Another oh, pirate. Lovely. This one, yeah, it's not really the direction I want to move to. The, the other Agdarians can have that. Um. Huh. Plus 23, quite a small planet, so not for now. And the rest is all not that special what about location no no okay so just this one for a moment uh no not that one this one yeah 
This is a great one. Our colony ship ready. Uh, where is it? Is this it? No. Where did the colony ship go? Oh, it's still being sent out. Yeah. Still needs to leave the construction yard. And is this one literally still making his way back? My god. Okay, there it is. Very good. Load up, please. We've passed the 20 billion, by the way. We're expanding our number of colonies rapidly as well. That's good. This plant's even bigger than the, uh, than the other one. Well, we need to come up with a name for this one as well then. The AI wants me to pick a fight with the human uh, federation. Sixth, we're doing have to load up everything here. Then they can load up here as well. Some troops available. Not sure if we were building troops here as well. We can build some, not too many. Just a standard uh, defense. I do want to start pumping out the second batch of uh, destroyers. So we'll make 10 here. And probably make the turn that into a new fleet, maybe. All right. Then destroyers. And let's also create a few fuel tankers, actually. Alright, getting more and more interesting. There's an invasion fleet here? What's going on here? Where's that? There was an invasion fleet here. From whom? From the Hakonish. Hey, Mortalen Federation. We didn't saw any Mortalen yet. Oh. So I'm thinking we are meeting uh, most of them. This is the Grand Sul. We're meeting most of the uh, of the AI factions. Oh, hold on. Hmm. 
Mm. You're fine. I'm a bit worried that we're spending too much money though. Like money that is not just one time expenses, but actually turning into a um, fixed cost. I, I wanted to see if there's a war actually going on with the uh, Eater. Why are they angry at us, by the way? Yeah, they're in war with Hakanish Council, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. Um, let's see what our, where our sixth fleet is. No mission. Um, can they, wait, is our capital? Oh, it's not. It's Oceania. They can pick up here some troops, but... They filled up already? Not yet, right? No, no, they still got uh, quite some space. Right. Let's just uh, make them pick up troops here as well. And... <laughs> Finish the whole tour of the uh, of our empire. Go here, and then uh, we'll uh, try to take back the colony again. And I think our yeah, our colony ship is arriving. Cool. So this one will be ours. Anyway, we'll see that in the next episode, because I'm going to stop it uh, right here. We're hitting the uh, the hour mark. So I hope you guys are still interested in uh, how this all goes. And see if we can go for victory. Uh, might be quite tough. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. They... The other Bosca, the, the Boscada ones are doing massively well. Even better than the Eater Federation. And they are at 38%. So they're... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Very interesting. Anyway, we'll discuss that in the, in the next episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like or a comment. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you and bye bye.